Okay, two days successful camping at Sandbanks. Survived a thunderstorm, had two fires at the campground, and uh, it was nice to have a day off from the bike, actually. After more than two weeks exploring Southern Ontario by bicycle, we were in the home stretch. A couple of days camping at Sandbanks Provincial Park was definitely a highlight. We tried our very best not to cycle the exact route home in which we already came. Luckily, Prince Edward County is big enough to crisscross. This direction took us through the town of Wellington, which is a pretty stop for anyone visiting wineries in the region. It's got a population just under 2,000 people, but I suspect that number balloons in the summer. It's coming into Wellington now, which is the last town in Prince Edward County before we make an exit out to Brighton and back towards Toronto. Cool little town though. For cyclists, you'll be happy to see this incredible Millennium Trail connects in Wellington. I guess it's like an old train line that came through Prince Edward County. Suppose they removed the train tracks and now it's a recreation trail. It's made of gravel, it's pretty flat. It's nice to be out of the regular roads. The 40 plus kilometer recreational trail is an incredible way to get away from the traffic and enjoy some nature. So today is a bit of a big day because it's either gonna be the second last day of the bike trip well, it's gonna be the last day. We are currently five kilometers outside of Brighton. And a couple options are, if we find the day cycle is too much and we get to Coburg, we'll probably just stay in Coburg. Second option is we get to Oshawa, which is like 111 kilometers away. In Oshawa, there's the GO train, which goes back to Toronto. Since we already cycled Toronto to Oshawa, there's very little interest to cycle all the way back through Oshawa, Ajax, Pickering, you get it. So we'll keep you updated and see how this turns out. Just heading back through Salem now. It feels like two weeks ago we were here staying at a uh, campground. Memories! The way back brought us once again through the town of Colburn. All right, just coming back into the city. City the village of Colburn. Seems like the thunderstorms we had all night long have kind of, seem to be on their way out. So that's pretty exciting. We might not get drenched after all today. It was forecasting to be quite something. So uh, fingers crossed, this actually kind of works in our favor. such a moody weather day already kind of going from what looks like thunderstorms overhead it's very humid of sweat through my shirt in the first 45 minutes and now the sun is out so let's see how the rest of the day shapes up next up was Coburg nice to cycle again in the downtown in early evening and get another glimpse of the beautiful Victoria Hall so just leaving Coburg on Highway 2, different route we're leaving on than we came in. So it kind of feels new. But yeah, otherwise it's still 4 p.m. Got a lot of kilometers we think we're gonna make Oshawa, so it's, it's still 50-50. Of course, also great to go back through one of our favorites, Port Hope. These roads between 
Port Hope and Port Darlington for cycling. I mean, it's some of the best, most peaceful, picturesque roads you can ask for. So, highly recommend it. If you got a bike, come on out this way. Uh, you'll love it. So, I think I'm going to sign off for this uh, vlog right now because we're losing light. Be able to capture much more on the GoPro. So, whether or not we reach Oshawa and hit the GO train back tonight. I guess you'll have to just find out. On what would be the 17th and last day of this journey, we were treated to one of the most beautiful rolling sunsets in recent memory. Every curve around each bend out here highlighted the sun streaming through the towering trees. It was magical and a perfect ending to a perfect trip. Feeling so much that it was actually the end, we pushed ourselves tirelessly and ended up cycling into Oshawa a few hours later in the pitch dark. With 12 minutes to spare, we got our bicycles on the last westbound connection and headed home with great memories of this epic challenge. I will say thanks for coming on this journey and see you on the next one. Hey, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and throw in a comment to let me know what you think.